In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Pathfinder tool to create notches so that you can join your two pieces of your chair together. We're going to use the Pathfinder tool. I have it open already. So to open it, go to Window and select Pathfinder. It should be ticked. So I want to create some notches or slots in the sides of my rectangle here so another piece can be slotted into it. I'm going to use the rectangle tool, click, and my dialog box comes up. I want my notch to be 20 millimeters long and three millimeters high. I've chosen three millimeters specifically because that's the width of the materials that we're going to be using to construct our chairs. So click on OK, and you have your rectangle here. I'm going to use the black selection tool and use move my notch into place and I've made sure it's directly in line with the edge of my original large rectangle. I'm going to control C to copy it, control V to paste. Locate another one on the opposite edge, control V to paste, locate another one at the bottom, control V to paste and my fourth and final one for this demonstration. So you can see they line up very precisely. The grids work really well to help me do this and because I had previously ticked in view, snap to grid, my shape will automatically snap to the grid. So like most Adobe programs, if you have a tool and you want to know what it is, if you hover your cursor over the tool button, it'll bring a little menu up and you can see what the name of the tool is. And a shortcut and a short description of what that button will do. In this instance, we want to use the second button minus front. All these smaller rectangles are placed in front of our original large rectangle. So if I choose my black selection arrow to select everything in my drawing and then choose the minus front option from my Pathfinder palette, You'll notice that I have very cleverly, without very much effort at all, cut out some very precise notches into the sides of my piece. 